Hi everybody, DJ Lee here. I thought I would put together a video on something cool that I, I discovered. You know, and um, when I <laughs> write a tip or I share a video of something I discover, um, this is no uh, insult to those of you who are way smarter than I am and, you know, maybe you've already discovered this and you know this, but um, I just assume that there are probably others like me who are fooling around, tooling around in Virtual DJ 8 and just discovering one little gem after the other and uh, and would like to know about it. So anyway, if you already know this, that's great. But anyways, uh, I'm putting together a playlist or a set for an event that I'm doing this coming Sunday. And um, I basically I'm using my search pane to move, move tracks around, line them up BPM wise, I'm colorizing them and so forth. And then over on the right hand side in the side list, I've got my auto mix. Um, tab selected here. And one thing that I've always wanted to be able to do was to be able to, um, if I wanted to change music, music on the fly, um, have a quick way to get to a folder that I keep the hot tracks or the bangers and, um, and not have to use my mouse to scroll around and search through folders and so forth. Well, lo and behold, Virtual DJ 8 has in the side list down here this little um, this looks like a little wheel, and here you can add subfolders, and these subfolders will be linked to any of the folders that you have in your files pane. So, let me zoom in a little bit. This first one here, this actually is the focus folder, I guess that's for lack of a better word. Whatever folder you have highlighted, that's the clone folder. So that'll show in this side list view anything that you have high list highlighted all right so if I go over to uh, let's see let me open this up and uh, I'm gonna scroll down to uh, let's see files already scanned all right now if I go back over here um, okay you can see what's listed now is in the clone are the files that have already been scanned, or is that, yeah, files to be scanned is, is what this is entitled. So there are a number of files that are missing. Um, I really need to clean up clean up that mess. And, but that's very handy to be able to have that. But what if you are actually, like in the, in the case that I was talking about, I'm actually, um, I'm actually live. Let's say I'm working and um, you know I've got my playlist all set and I have an option now I can I can work directly from my, my pane you know loading my search pane loading tracks right from here or if I want to use the auto mix and load tracks from here this is this is great the nice thing about the auto mix is if um, if I want to go to the bathroom or I want to talk to someone or in the case of dancing DJs I want to dance a, a track or two with my wife I can just put on auto mix and, and I'm good to go but what if I'm at a wedding where I'm more likely behind the booth and uh, I've, I've planned my sets, maybe I have an idea of where I want to take the crowd, but I'm getting requests and, and maybe I'm really hitting a nice stride and man, there are some tunes that they didn't request but I think would really go good with this particular crowd. Well, down here, I've already set a shortcut to open dance music, okay, and in this it, folder, it's got all the all the tunes that I find to be banger musics at uh, receptions and weddings and so forth. And basically, that is um, that's I don't know where that is right now. Um, let's see, it's over here. I can't find it right now. Oh, here it is. So that's this folder that's way over here. That normally, you know, when I have this pane closed. I'd have to go over it, I have to open it, I've got to scroll down, I've got to find it. You know, in the heat of the mix, it may be a little bit of a, a task. I mean, I've cleaned things up a little bit, so it's a little bit easier. But, man, isn't this easy to just be able to click on a folder, and boom, there they are. So I can just scroll through this one list here. I can load whatever I want to load. I, I also um, took the option to put my side list over here. So look at this. Now that we found love, I just drag it right over there. There it is. Just like that, no more closing folders, no more sorting through folders, bam, that's it. Also, someone comes up or and they want to know, did you already play such and such a song? Um, yeah, I can just go right here. I've already got my 
filtered folder already played right here in the same screen. God, I know I sound like a pitch man for some 1995 <laughs> product, but I just can't contain my excitement with how well Virtual DJ is designed. So at any rate, I, I wanted to share that with you that uh, definitely check out in your side list your subfolders, um, your shortcuts, not subfolders, your shortcuts. And remember, there is um, this first one here. Uh, keeps It's just not going to focus. Sorry about that. The first one, this one, that's your clone. That's already always there. That's going to show you whatever folder you're working from. If you're doing all of your DJing from an open folder or reception folder or must playlist, that's going to be that's going to give you the option to clone that information. So you can load that from the clone. You could load it into uh, your playlist or whatever. And then the others that you see here, these three that you see here, this is my uh, already paid played. Um, this is my um, my open dancing, and then over here, since I'm going to be doing a Latin event, a salsa uh, social, I have Latin club sets. So all my music for my Latin club sets, right there, easy to get to, and also it makes it easy for me to go through and start setting my cue points and colorizing and so forth. So, anyways. The video turns out to not be as quick as I thought, but um, I hope you share my excitement at, virtu at using Virtual DJ 8. And um, that's it for me, DJ Professor Lee.